All right, Ron Meany, there you see him. He's back. He's our former heavyweight champion, former light heavyweight champion, held the belts at one time, Scoot Andrews followed very closely by the man who should have been fighting Billy Fies this night if Billy Fies hadn't been a coward and not shown up. It's Agent Steele, the winner of Rage in the Cage 2002. Agent Steele's on a huge roll in IPW. Former tag team champion with Quakey Mart and now he's supposed to get his biggest shot at the IPW heavyweight title against Billy Fives after winning the Rage in the Cage 2002. Billy Fives refuses to defend the title but Scoot Andrews being the true man he is, being the true former champion champion he is, he comes out there against Agent Steel in this big main event and gives him the shot of a lifetime. He's in there with one of IPW's best. He's best. As you said, he has been on a roll, but nothing that he's done so far could compare to getting a win over the likes of Scoot Andrews. By far the biggest match of the young Agent Steel's career. This match is going to vault the winner straight up the ladder of contenders in IPW. Look at Agent Steel go. You're not going to think of him when you think of this style of wrestling. You think of Scoot Andrews, you think of people from the outside like Loki, AJ Styles. We used to have the IPW led heavyweight champion Jeff Peterson that brought this great style to IPW. Agent Steel, he's a student of the game. He does what he should be doing. Oh, look at, but he's going to end up with a broken arm if he doesn't protect himself. He does what I said Mike Sullivan should have been doing. He studies the tapes. He's in at the WrestlePlex training week after week, night after night, and somebody like Scoot Andrews, they better pull out their best because Agent Steele knows everything he's got coming. Well, right now, Scoot Andrews going a little bit old school, working on the arm of Agent Steele. Agent Steele may not have the quote-unquote cut-up physique of guys like Billy Fies and Scoot Andrews, but anybody who's been in the ring with him knows that he's one of the most powerful individuals in all of IPW, but getting your arm and shoulder and elbow and everything else slammed right in that turnbuckle, that's going to take a wheel away from you. It's going to take your concentration off of your offense in this match and putting Scoot Andrews at a great, great advantage. The one thing you've got to watch out for when it comes to Agent Steel more than anything is this kid has got the most vicious temper in the entire locker room of IPW. That is no secret. It's not just the boys that know it. The fans out there that have gotten his face, he's been a heel. He's been one of the most popular wrestlers in IPW. He's played both sides of the fence. He doesn't mess around. He'll go out there and he'll technically wrestle. But if you want to fight, you want to get in the face of Agent Steel, I would highly recommend against it. Aaron, I mentioned earlier about June 8th, tomorrow night at the WrestlePlex, and the huge matches that are coming up. I gotta mention, June 15th at the Chain of Lake Civic Center in Winter Haven, Florida. We're gonna have the first ever in Florida reverse battle royal. You get thrown in the ring, you're eliminated. Last guy left outside the ring will be your winner. We're gonna have an NWA World Tag Team title match with the new Heavenly Bodies defending against the Shane Brothers. We're gonna have Devin Nash, Rod Steele. We're gonna have Mike Sullivan. All the best of IPW will be in Winter Haven. Go to IPW-Hardcore.com for all your information. Yeah, speaking of the Heavenly Bodies, that match with the Shane Twins was made after that attack that we saw in the last segment. The new Heavenly Bodies making their way back to IPW, attacking 911 Incorporated, and now they have to defend their titles against a massive Shane. The Shane Brothers, your Jersey All Pro Wrestling Tag Team Champions, your NWA Florida Tag Team Champions. There's been title changes going on left and right. You see the technical excellence. What the? Where did that reversal come from? I'll, I'm going to tell you something. I know Scoot Andrews used to be working with Agent Steel a short time ago at the WrestlePlex, training with them. They like to trade maneuvers, they like to... Oh, it's like Larry, but Scoot Andrews absolutely levels Agent Steel. Scoot Andrews got to be regretting the fact that he possibly might have shown Agent Steel a little bit more, and it might be being used against him right now, Aaron. That's true. Oftentimes, the student will outshine the teacher. Let's not forget, Scoot Andrews, you're not the only person teaching stuff to Agent Steel. He's a smart individual. He's learning from everybody he gets the chance to learn from. He was in the ring for six months with the Shane brothers in that big tag team war when he was a part of Quickie Mart. He had to deal with the antics of you, Ron Nimi, back when your antics weren't, shall we say, uh, what, what, what you would want to have your promoter using antics. I, I can't even talk about the situation. It makes already. me so mad, Ron Nimi. The think of the opportunity Agent Steele's getting here. First, he's getting his arm absolutely wrenched backwards, but he's supposed to be fighting for the IPW heavyweight title. The truth is, he's in there with Scoot Andrews, who's been in the king of the independents. He's been in the Super 8. He's wrestled countless times for the World Wrestling Federation. He is a man who has more ability and more experience that Agent Steele can draw from. This is better than any experience he can get in any school. It's better than any other promotion could possibly offer him. Agent Steele is taking an opportunity when opportunity knocks, and he is absolutely vaulting himself up the ladder. 
All right, Ronald, let's not forget this match taking place at the Florida WrestlePlex, where these guys train all the time, where you can also see that title defense tomorrow night. Your new champion, four-time champion now, Mike Sullivan, he's going up against this very man, Agent Steel, if there's anything left of him after Scoot Andrews is done. We're going to have a huge tag team title match for the IPW tag team titles. We're going to have the new champions, big and sexy, Frankie Capone and Python, defending against wrongful death. After that huge ladder match in Deltona. Oh my, Scoot Andrews lighting up Agent Steel. He's absolutely tearing that chest apart and punches him right in the head. Like I say in that huge ladder match in Deltona, Wrongful Death came down with the NWA Florida Tag Team titles and Big and Sexy came down with the IPW Tag Team titles. Splitting up the Florida Unified Tag Belts and you see Agent Steel, he don't care about anything I'm talking about. He's too busy taking care of business. But titles have been changing left and right all over the place. That's why you gotta be at all the house shows. That's why you gotta be at the big spear by Agent Steel. Beautiful, beautiful tackle there by Agent Steel. And let's give Agent Steel some credit. He could have gone in, he had a title shot after Raging the Cage 4. When Billy Fives refused to show up, he could have backed down. He could have said, give me a shot at the hardcore title. He could have said, just give me a shot at the TV title. But this guy, Agent Steel, he knows what he wants. He wants to be a top dog in IPW. He wants a shot at the heavyweight title. And if Billy Fives won't come to him, he'll gladly wait for his title shot. Oh, he, I'll tell you what, again, I always mention this. Scoot Andrews is the type of guy, he might be one of the most popular individuals on the roster of IPW, but he's not above taking a shortcut. He backs right in Agent Steel, who absolutely crushes that? him. I'm not sure. It was kind of like a Come Chief J. Bombo type thing. Whips. What? These guys got more offensive maneuvers. Again, please let... Why don't they get with us beforehand and say, Hey, guys, I'm about to pull 50 new moves out of my bag of tricks. And here's the name of them so you don't look like a jackass when you're trying to call it on TV. Yeah, we thought we had a hard time calling Justice versus Livewire in that great cruiserweight match last week. Oh, and I tell you, Agent Steel having a hard time now as his face just thrown into the canvas by Scoot Andrews there. And that arm that's been taking a beat through the whole match. Oh, Scoot Andrews right by the ropes, very smartly grabs on. Veteran maneuver there, Agent Steel. Steel should have drug him away from the ropes a little bit, but that just goes to show you when you're in, your, in, the, uh, you're in there with Scoot Andrews, I didn't screw up, Ron Nene. When you're in there with Scoot Andrews, you're not always thinking. You're just trying to get the pinfall attempt. Justice and Livewire you bring up. Look at that huge face bump. That's like, the, what the hell move is that that Christopher Daniels used? I don't know what you even call it, but it's basically it's, in, it's like a corkscrew into a DDT type maneuver. Absolutely levels Agent Steel who manages to kick out of it. I was talking about all the title changes. Mike Sullivan, your new IPW heavyweight champion. Big and sexy, your new IPW tag team champions. The very next night, Wrongful Death loses the NWA Florida tag titles to the Shane Brothers. They lost two titles in two nights. And tomorrow night, June 8th, oh, oh my god, the forces of nature are out of nowhere. Agent Where's Steel, the ref? That's got to be, the ref standing right there. Marks out, distracting the referee. Good work. Lex Lovett, Lex Lovett out of nowhere making his return to IPW. Hits Scoot Andrews with a huge blockbuster and then goes out the back. Mark Zoe, you got to give him credit where credit's due. He's doing his job. He distracted the referee without even knowing. Three, what a huge win for Agent Steel. He just pinned Scoot Andrews, not even known to him that Lex Lovett just interfered to take out Scoot Andrews, one of his former big time enemies. Yeah, the biggest win of Agent Steele's career, unfortunately, it came with some help from Lex Lovett, but that doesn't take anything away from the great match that Agent Steele was giving Scoot Andrews. And like you said, Lex Lovett and Scoot Andrews, bitter, bitter enemies here at IPW. I guess we've got the new referee body back, and now we've got the former NWA World Junior Heavyweight Champion in the mix as well. And what you didn't see, Ron Levy, was Lex Lovett going in all friendly with a guy like Agent Steele talking about what a great victory it was for him and how happy he was for him. Then all of a sudden, he kicks him right in the gut, and we've got another impromptu match right now. Lex Lovett just recently attended the latest WWF training camp where they bring the top free agents in professional wrestling. He impressed the WWF a lot. I don't know what the hell their problem is. Kevin Kelly's probably got something to do with him not getting signed. And you see him come off on Agent Steel with a huge leg drop. Look at the physique on this kid. How can all the major companies not be tripping over themselves to try 
to get to him. The hell with him. IPW Hardcore Wrestling got Lex Lovett back. He hasn't been in the mix since way back at the NWA anniversary show. He's got himself in better condition. He's been working on his technical wrestling. And from what I understand, and you can see it looking right now, this kid's got a hell of a mean streak. Yes, he does. Second time in a row now. He's choking out Agent Steele with that shirt. Referee trying to count it. But quite frankly, Lex Lovett doesn't care if he wins this match. If he cared if he won a match, he would have come out and done it fair and square. Instead, he's taking out a guy that just went 25 minutes with Scoot Andrews and is still giving him a run for his money. But right now, Lex Levitt does appear to be firmly in control. And here's what we're talking about, the youth and the cockiness. He should be all over a guy like Agent Steele right now, not posing for the fans. What the funny thing is, half of the WrestlePlex fans are gone. They thought the match was over when Agent Steele beat Scoot Andrews. They thought that was the end of the night when they seen Lex Lovett raise the hand of Agent Steele. They've ended up missing one of the better matches of the entire night. Agent Steele in his second consecutive match absolutely blown up and he comes out with a wicked clothesline on Lex Lovett. Takes him out again. Lex Lovett thought he was going to take somebody who was down and out. Somebody who's only operating on one wheel after having his legs and arms absolutely worked on the entire match. Agent Steele has got more intestinal fortitude than I've got wrestling cliches. And that's a whole lot, as anybody who watches this show knows. Great athletic ability shown by Lex Lovett. Oh, blockbuster, middle of the ring standing blockbuster, as a matter of fact, one, two. Oh, and here comes Scoot Andrews. Paybacks are a bitch, aren't they, Lex Lovett? Turnabout is fair play, Lex Lovett. You want to screw over Scoot Andrews in his match? He'll do the same. He'll return the favor for you. Gentleman Jim Bragg, all 80 years old of him, out there reprimanding Scoot Andrews. Oh, my God, the hell's he doing? He's going to break the right neck on the shoulder. Three, Agent Steele with two consecutive victories over Scoot Andrews and over Lex Lovett. This is the biggest night. This is bigger than the Rage in the Cage Four victory for Agent Steele. Your new number one contender for the IPW heavyweight title. I tell you what, Rod, I don't know if anybody in the history of this sport has beaten Scoot Andrews and Lex Lovett back to back. Fans, we're going to be back next week with more great action. Check us out at the WrestlePlex tomorrow night, June the 8th.